It's kind of an extraordinary thing that this guy won't go away. George Santos should have ridden into the sunset. As he attended the president's State of the Union, George Santos dropped a political bombshell. He's jumping back into politics and taking on a rival within his own party. Uh, I think I chuckled a bit about it. This time around, Santos is running to represent New York's first congressional district, mounting a primary challenge against the current Republican congressman, Nick Lalota. Lalota helped lead the successful effort to have Santos expelled from the House of Representatives. I suspect this primary campaign, this primary challenge from Santos is retaliation for that. On social media, Santos called Lalota an empty suit, adding, I look forward to debating him on the issues and on his weak record as a Republican. I think we're going to run on a record of uh, accountability, uh, integrity, honor. Hofstra professor Lawrence Levy points out, with the Republican primary in June. The chances of him even being a candidate on the ballot for a primary are slim to none. Uh, to do that, you've got to collect thousands of signatures, and he has to do it by, I believe, April 4th. Don Avalon thinks this Republican rift will boost his campaign. He's one of two Democrats running in hopes of flipping New York's first congressional district. The, the chaos on their side of the aisle, I think, sort of typifies uh, the GOP in the era of Trump. Brooklyn and Manhattan Congressman Dan Goldman believes Santos may have been motivated to enter this race for reasons beyond politics. The lack of attention over the last couple months has probably been gnawing at him. He also needs to pay his criminal defense legal bills. The former lawmaker is accused of using campaign donations to bankroll a lavish lifestyle, all while making up much of his life story. While he pleaded not guilty to a 23-count indictment, Santos and his attorney acknowledged in December they're working with prosecutors on a plea deal. Meanwhile, Santos says he's made more money selling video messages on Cameo than he did in Congress. Don't let the haters get to you. Haters are going to hate. And after Santos attended the State of the Union last night, Bronx Congress member Richie Torres introduced a rule that would revoke House floor privileges once a Congress member has been expelled. Ayanna Harry, New York One. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in depth political coverage and click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues, and more. We'll see you then.